the American Industrial Revolution was in full swing. The market was demanding an increasingly higher quality in its iron. The new steam engines were now providing power for industry, and engineers hoped they could design them small enough to power ships and wagons. The iron used to build these steam engines, however, had to be of top strength and consistency in order to contain the heat and pressure built up inside them. Any weakness in the iron would allow for dangerous explosions. Charles recognized in these demands a unique opportunity. And with an eye towards this growing market for steam engines, he and Rebecca decided to lease Isaac's Brandywine Iron and Nail Factory. Charles and his craftsmen focused on pressing boilerplate for the new steam engines and found a way to roll a plate of iron that was wider and more uniform in strength. In 1818, their Brandywine Ironworks produced America's first rolled boilerplate. If we could visit the Lucan's rolling mill, we would see as we approached it, the sluiceway bringing water to the large overshot wheel which powered the mill's massive machinery. Going inside, we would immediately be struck by the noise of metal upon metal as sheets of iron were pressed and cut and dropped. The gears, powered by the water wheel, drove the rollers and the power shears. The working environment was dirty, noisy, hot and dangerous. Orders were given by shouts and hand signals. The iron slabs, which arrived from furnaces such as Hibernia and Hopewell, were heated red hot in furnaces to make them malleable. They were then moved to the rollers, where they were pressed into progressively smaller thicknesses for stovepipes, boiler iron, and other plate. 